Hey guys, it's John here with Alternative Standard and this is a 0S 2016. We're going to look at removing the seat first. If you have any questions as to how I got to this point, refer to this video, it will be able to help you out. Next, we're looking at the space that's been just beneath the seat. There's two bolts on either side of this tank plastic and we need to remove them first. It will really help us out in the next following steps. We're looking at the inside of the tank plastics near the front. Basically, there's six screws that we have to remove. It, I found it really helpful to use a small Phillips head screwdriver to gain access to this portion, and also a long one in order to reach those hard to reach places. Overall, I'm showing you exactly where the six screws are located along the inside of the tank plastics. We're looking at the top portion of the tank plastics, and for standard bikes that come with this pocket, take your key and go ahead and remove the lanyard that keeps it in place. Once you have it out, there's a bolt just located underneath. That's the final hardware for the tank that's keeping it to the bike's frame. After you have that bolt out, we can basically take off the tank. And there you go. Located just underneath the tank where the pocket was is a SAE connector. Within the SAE connector is this little bit of silicon. It's a little bit of a weather protection in terms of keeping any water or dirt from getting inside the connector. Take a toothpick or a pen and reach down in there and pull out the gunk. If you have any remaining, it's not a big deal. We're moving back to the front where the steering is and we're popping off that plug with a flat head screwdriver. At this point, we're getting ready to pull out our USB plug. Hold on. If you're at this point and you're curious as to how I got to this, I have another video that you can reference. That will basically explain how I got these parts and how I was able to assemble them. Back to the video. Take your USB plug and remove anything that might be an obstruction for us to insert into that USB accessory port. Next, take your wiring and feed it through. It'll really help out to work from the top, but there's also an option to feed it off from the connector side working all the way back. So the option's up to you. One thing I want to note is that this USB plug is perfect for this uh, accessory port, so it would be a little bit of a struggle once you press it down, but it's doable. We're looking on the right hand side of the headlights and I'm taking the wiring and feeding it through. I'm following the existing harnesses that are currently in place. Looking at the left hand side now, we're taking that connector and feeding it through to the inside of our bike. Keep following that wire harness, it will be a perfect guide for you. Once you have your wiring more towards the inside of the bike, go and take the connector and con connect it with the SAE plug for the power to the bike. Remember, red is the blue and black is the black. I tried finding a good place to put it and I basically chose that plate and wedged it right in between those two spots. It seems to work out fine for me. One thing to note is that there's actually not one, but two 12 volt DC connectors. There's the SAE and then this one, which is Sumido. If you buy the stock USB plug from Zero Motorcycles, this is the plug you're actually going to utilize, not the SAE. So the more you know. I hope this one helps you out. It's a little bit of a secret tip. We're looking back at the wiring routing and we're going back to those harnesses. We see that we have a zip tie and, and we want to go ahead and remove that. Our idea is that we want to keep everything taut so we don't have any wires flapping around while we're riding on the motorcycle. So take your new zip tie and tie them in together. This will be able to keep this more secure and you know you won't have any problems later down the road. We're moving on to our final check. Go ahead and power the bike on and look at the USB port. It should be powered on at this point. And then, grab onto the handlebars. We're going to be rotating both left and right. Take a look down at where your wiring harness is and make sure there's nothing binding. If everything seems good and clear, then perfect. You did a great job. And here is the final product in review. One thing I forgot to mention is that from the SAE plug, I got an average of 13 and a half volts DC. When you're looking at purchasing a USB plug for yourself, take this knowledge with you and we'll be able to help you out. I want to make this an opportunity to share. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave it down in the comments below. I am always trying to find ways to improve. If I did not get to your question in time, it is not a problem. The community is awesome and they will be able to help you out. And this has been a video with John. Ride safe.